And it looks like for game one, Epic Gabriel is going to be playing Incineroar. So I'm excited to see that. HS, of course, sticking with Cloud as we head to Pokemon Stadium. Very even start for both these guys, but HS has his little break available now following that Lariat, but he's not going to be able to get the cross slash to connect. Still finding some good damage to those forward airs. Gabriel, good cross shot to buy himself some room to breathe. Immediately, HS gets right back on him, and back and forth we go. Both guys already over 100% right now. Good tech roll, though, from Epic Gabe. Hitching to avoid that side smash. However, he can't avoid the cross slash the loop break, but he's still living. Oh my goodness. HS so lucky. Cross shot runs out right before it connects with him. Good revenge from Gabe. And he's going to use the Alola whip to secure the kill. Nice job by Epic Gabriel. Pulling off that side special. Doesn't get the perfect timing, but doesn't even need it thanks to his revenge stack. HS, though, getting a quick reset. And we are back to dead even. And back and forth we go. These guys putting on such a great show right now. Ooh, beautiful dunk, but HS not able to get the kill off that epic game. Not quite high enough percent for that to kill. So he hangs around, at least for a little bit, but runs right in that side smash, and now HS has opened up a huge lead. Can Epic Gabriel bring it back? It's going to be really difficult for him to deal with Incineroar. Keeps going for this darkest Lariat. Really good move for inflicting shield damage, but it's uh, kind of vulnerable in the same way that Rob's side special is. Great timing on the Alola Whip, but HS still hanging on to the stock. Oh, and the Clim Hazard to secure the win. So HS going for some style points, and he takes game number one. So well done by HS, a really quick first game as he takes down Epic Gabriel's Incineroar with relative ease. Even puts a little panache on that win with the Klim Hazard spike. Panache, that's how you say that word. Like totally butchered that word, I don't know why. In my mind, I was thinking it was spelled with an I for some reason. Into game number two, Gabriel swapping again, this time to Ike. And with the bracket advantage, maybe he's gonna play around and see what works before going to Rob. Definitely have to see. However, Ike uh, probably works out a little bit better in this matchup. They both have rather large range with their swords. Of course, Ike is all about that Nair spam. Ooh, great aggression from Gabe, but he's not gonna be able to make it back, taking just a little too long to get that recovery. Unfortunate for Evan Gabe, but still really great offstage aggression there, setting the tone for the second game. You can definitely see how he wants to handle this matchup. Just constantly staying in HS's face. Of course, that is kind of what you have to do with Ike, but still. He could have always opt for a little bit more of a defensive play style, but right now, he's just going all out. Ooh. Opting to try and go for a counter. Anticipating HS to go for a get-up attack, but it doesn't happen that way. Still, comes out no worse for the wear, as uh, HS does not punish him. These guys going back and forth, just trading this lead. HS good back air, buys himself a little bit of time to charge up his limit, but a great counter from Epic Gabriel. Gets him 
himself back down on the ground safely, avoiding that side smash. Ooh, and Gabe delivering a side smash of his own. Excuse me, I think that was a side special. Not like it matters too much. Gabriel still taking the lead off of that hit, whatever it was. But now building up some nice extra credit here as he tries to box out HS at the ledge. But HS is able to make it back safely. He gets a down smash to even things back up at one stock apiece. Now finding some good damage as he claws his way into this final stock and tries to close the percent gap. But uh, Gabe juggling him a little bit. Opens it right back up, and this lead is up to about 60% right now. This back throw from HS sets up an opportunity to try and give Gabe, but it's not going to happen. We're like dead even right now in terms of percent. Good back air from HS following up on that throw, and he has his limit break available, but Epic Gabriel not flinching, just holding onto that shield. Making HS completely waste that cross slash. Gabe, good air into the up air, and that's going to secure the win. Nice patience by him looking for the opening, and he's going to find it. And he ties things back up a one game apiece. And just a reminder here. HS has to win two best of fives to take the tournament. Epic Gabriel, though, coming from the winner's bracket, only has to win one, so he's only got to find two more wins to take home that $20 prize. However, I don't think there's really any reason for HS to panic. He made that second game extremely close, came right down to the wire. And Epic Gabriel going for another character swap, this time to Toon Link. Gabriel off to a good start with that hero spin. And pretty much par for the course here at the start of game number three. Just back and forth for both these guys. Neither one really carving out much of an advantage, although HS now into the red, but he does have his limit break, so expect to see a cross slash that deals a ton of damage, especially. I think at least against Toon Link, he might be able to get Shield Poke on Gabe. Even if he tries to hold onto his shield through that limit. Uh, HS. Might have put down his controller there, not entirely sure. Maybe. Have to see why they're restarting. Ah, wrong stage. They were supposed to go Lilac Cruise.
So now we get the real correct stage this time, Lilac Cruz and uh, HS off to a slightly stronger start this time around, but uh, probably just gonna go back to their constant back and forth trading blows. Good down air from HS. As the Bumper Break available, goes for that cross slash on shield, and Epic Game is actually able to fully shield it. So forget what I said about potential shield poke. Closer to kill percent and HS dropping the cross slash but gets a second one immediately after. Good short hop back here to close out the stock, not allowing Epic Gabriel to get his feet back underneath of him. Now HS has a nice lead to work with, plus a uh, limit break, but the blade beam gets eaten by the slope. Projectiles do not travel along the slopes on my light cruise. Uh, same thing happens uh, on any slope, really. I think Gabriel already at the 50%, so HS actually finding a little bit of an advantage here in this matchup. Good up smash. I think Gabe not able to find a kill off of it. Instead, HS turning things around on him, and Epic Gabriel nearly goes down to that side smash. But finally, he is able to even up the stock count, but he's at 96%, so HS still with a huge lead right now. And setting up to go for a back air. Set Epic Gabriel gonna safely make it back onto the stage. He stays alive for now. Nice Clim Hazard though from HS. And Epic Gabriel just getting tossed around. Like he's nobody's business, HS. Really showing no signs of slowing down. As he continues to build on this lead, but Epic Gabriel refusing to die, hanging around, even though there's a limit break available for HS. He's not quite gonna find the kill, but finally, with that dash attack, he does close out the stock. So Epic Gabriel down to his final stock and really struggling here, following this Game 3 remake. And the close quarters of Lilac Cruz definitely playing out in HS's favor. The back throw into that limit cross slash, and that is going to be the game. So HS, a little bit of a dominant performance here after some close games in Game 1 and 2. HS gets a two-stock win here. And brings himself one game closer to getting that bracket reset. So I don't expect Epic Gabriel to stick with Young Link. <laughs> or excuse me, Toon Link, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to Unova Pokemon League for game four. HS sticking with Cloud. And Epic Gabriel pulls out another character. This time it's Krom. Seen a little bit of his Krom play tonight. We get to see it again as Epic Gabriel tries to hold on to his bracket advantage. HS just one win away from getting the reset. Ooh. Good side smash there from Gabe. Able to work it into his combo. That's one of the advantages of Krom and several of the Fire Emblem characters, actually. You can just work those side smashes in so easily.
Krom even a little faster. And doing it, and he gets the Aether Spike. Interesting that he's able to grab the ledge and still get the spike from that as well. So HS does go down. Gabriel taking that first stock. He's going to try and build off this lead, although HS determined to not let that happen. Good cross slash, but a little bit preemptive on the up smash. Gabe finding extra credit bit by bit. Good jab in the side smash there. And uh, HS on the back foot right now. Gabe taking a big lead now. I'm three to one as the in-game crowd cheers for him. Oh, and the Aether Spike to win the game. And that's what you can do when you're up three stocks to one. You can just go for the Krom side. And even if you miss it, it's not really a big deal. But Epic Gabriel able to convert and absolutely dominates with Krom in game number four. And I wonder if he's going to try to ride the momentum there and take Krom into game five because that was completely dominant. Despite some uh, changes being made to Krom, a few nerfs in his direction, he can still pull off ridiculous wins like that. One moment you're getting hit by a jab, and in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's a side smash. His air game is extremely fast as well. And to cap it all off, he has the Krom side. Uh, and instead of sticking with Krom, Epic Game is going to go to Ridley. So we get five different characters across five games. Which I suppose with the uh, bracket advantage as a cushion, there's no reason for him to not mess around. Into game five we go. We head to town and city to decide whether or not we get a bracket reset. Three, two, one, go! Already a strong start for Gabe, getting right up in HS's face, getting that down throw a little bit more. And Cloud may have a big nair, but Ridley's nair is even bigger. Epic game. Potentially you're out to a zero death here. Look at this. Just completely preventing HS from doing anything. Good turnaround back here. Goes for the plasma breath. HS able to avoid that, but not able to avoid the side special. And a zero to death to start game number five from Epic Gabriel. Throws out a taunt as well. A little victory screech. And it looks like he may be well on his way to winning this tournament. Unless HS has something to say about that. A couple good cross slashes here. And HS. Coming off that slow start now, showing some signs of life. He has his limit break ready. Good back throw. HS. They respond almost with a zero death of his own. I think Gabriel will that back air. 152%. Can HS close out this stock? He is going to be able to do it. And despite getting zero death to start the game, only 18% extra credit in favor of Epic Gabriel. That is insane. Mad props to HS for bringing it back to almost dead even. But now Epic Gabriel going on a big run yet again. Looking for that back air, looking for the side special as well. Not going to find it. However, HS responding with a limited cross slash and a forward air. It's not quite enough to find a kill off that spike, but uh, HS has taken a lead here. Despite that massive start from Epic Gabriel. It definitely didn't look like HS was going to have much left in the tank after the start of this. And Epic Gabe does re-secure the lead, but uh, HS is going down kicking and screaming for sure. Good down throw, down throw chain. Ridley, or Epic Gabriel, excuse me, trying to carry HS to the bot zone. 
but he does drop the combo, and HS managing to even things up one stock apiece now as he tries desperately to find this bracket reset, and he has his limit break available. He does find that cross slash. Gabe tries to get the parry, but he can't find it. Good down throw into Nair. They are dead even in percent right now as we come down to the wire. This could go either way for sure. One player wins it if he wins this game. The other one stays alive and forces that bracket reset. And it's going to be Epic Gabriel taking it off the side smash. He wins Smash Hammer Weekly number 29 with an impressive 3-2 win over HS. Picking a different character in all five games. And bad props to Epic Gabriel and a great effort from HS as well. Got zero death to start that game. Managed to bring it back and take it down the wire. But in the end, it is Epic Gabriel showing off his huge character pool and expertise and able to take the tournament.